The Major League Baseball trade deadline is Tuesday, August 2nd. The stove is hot. Teams are looking to cook up deals. Pitching is always a premium at this time of the year. So joining me to talk about some arms that have already been dealt and arms that could help the two New York teams is the founder of Pitcher List, Nick Pollock. Nick, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for having me today. Always great to have you. Always great to talk baseball and some pitching here. So on Friday, Nick, we saw one of the top arms available, Luis Castillo, who's traded from the Cincinnati Reds to the Seattle Mariners. The M's, you know, they're looking to make the playoffs. So how do you see Castillo impacting their postseason push? Absolutely. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Luis Castillo. I was back in uh, 2017 when he first came up, and I remember writing for Fangraphs how much I just adored this man. And we're seeing a lot of the good aspects of him this year. He's actually pushed up his velocity uh, close to 98 miles per hour on that fastball and really leaned into it up in the zone. And I think the Mariners realize that. They got someone like Robbie Ray in the offseason uh, that really leans on those high fastballs. And the Mariners needed something like this. Uh, their rotation, Robbie Ray, a little bit of struggling right now, but he should be good down the stretch. Logan Gilbert has been solid. But after that, what is George Kirby going to look like? Is Marco Gonzalez enough to be a proper number three? And they're fighting for that for that playoff spot in uh, the American League. Luis Castillo is going to be a huge, huge deal for them. Uh, 286 ERA, 107 whip so far this year. It's a huge move for the Mariners. And also, it's a huge move for the trade deadline. We needed to see this to happen because we have so many pitchers out there on the market now. But a lot of teams are really hoping for Luis Castillo. With him out of the way, I think we're going to see a lot of deals coming soon. All right. Nick sees a lot of action coming. Now, let's talk about the New York teams. The New York Mets, first up. They could be looking to add an arm or two, most likely in the bullpen. So who are some pitchers that you can see the Metropolitans acquiring by the trade deadline? Right. There are a lot of big names right now. There's Tyler Malley, the, uh, the, the, uh, the former uh, teammate of Luis Castillo. You have... Frankie Montas, you have even Pablo Lopez on the Marlins too. You also have some smaller guys too. There's something to be considered of, say, Martin Perez, who's doing an excellent job with his command uh, against uh, for the Rangers right now. And the Mets don't need someone to complement necessarily Scherzer and DeGrom. You have Bassett, you have Walker, you have Kraska. You have a lot of these guys that are very productive for uh, for the Mets right now. You just need some depth and make sure that if something were to go wrong, they have someone that they can rely on. And Martin Perez might fall into that really, really well. Uh, so I do like the, again getting some depth. You know, it looks like Tyler Tyler McGill is going to be a reliever moving forward, and that actually might be that relief help that they need. But honestly, I think the Mets have what they need in Jacob Degrom, and I hate saying the trade downline. Oh no, they get Degrom back, and that's their trade. But that is as big of an asset as you can think of any team. And the fact that the Mets have done so well so far without him, I mean, that should be what they need. For the most part, they don't need to get Luis Castillo, Tyler Malley, Frankie Montes. I think all they need is just a little bit extra depth to make sure that they have enough for that push. Okay, a little bit of extra depth for the Metropolitans. When you look at the Yankees, their rotation and pen hasn't looked as sharp lately in the second half as it did early in the season. So what pitchers can the Yanks use to bolster their roster? There's something very poetic about it, but I think <laughs> the Cubs, of course, are ready to deal again. And who doesn't want to see David Robertson return for the Yankees? Houdini, I want to see a little bit more of that magic this year. As it's a .99 whip, a 183 ERA for David Robinson. Oh, that would be so beautiful. And that's really what they need. Obviously, uh, you have Domingo, Herm Domingo Herman as their number five right now. And the guys I just mentioned, Frankie Montes, would be an excellent ad for them. Tyler Malley would be as well. Uh, but if you just see David Robertson returning, I think he can pull it off. I think the entire New York City uh, community would just be so excited to see those high socks once again in Yankee pinstripes. I think that would be the move that we're going to see a lot. And you're probably going to see some of those little small moves as well. That isn't a major, major name, but maybe Merrill Kelly from the Arizona Diamondbacks might be on the trade deadline uh, or on the trading block. He's in your three ERA this year. I think the Yankees could get a lot of that. Or maybe you'll see a major move of Tarek School plus Michael Fulmer from the Detroit Tigers as they get another lefty arm inside the rotation. They can make some small tweaks for him. And Fulmer's been a great job in the pen. That might be the perfect fit for the Yankees. A lot of good names for the Yankees and Mets there. You're going to have the fan base excited about the trade deadline. That is August 2nd. There's nobody I know who gets exciting or excited, <laughs> I should say, about pitching as much as Nick Pollock. He's the founder of PitcherList. Nick, good to see you. Thanks for joining me. We'll have our eye on that trade deadline. Thanks, man. Thanks so much for having me.